Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I promised you that I would show you this really cool technique for my, wait, what? Wednesday tip video. This is called ink blowing and it involves reinkers and a straw and it is super, super cool. You can get a bunch of different looks out of this. I'll show you how this is done. What I'm going to start with here is a piece of our shimmer white cardstock and this is three and a half by four and three quarters and the shimmer white is what we use for this technique because you're going to be using a lot of water on your cardstock and as you well know white cardstock and a lot of water don't go together well at all so the shimmer white has more of um it's less absorbent let's put it that way so that's why it works pretty good for techniques that would be um, my first choice other than watercolor paper. So I am going to take a couple lids. These are just lids from some empty embellishment containers. And I'm going to add a couple colors of my reinkers. And I have chosen uh, Bermuda Bay and Lemon Lime Twist. This is a new ink color. And then I've got one started here that was Calypso Coral. So I'm just going to show this to you. I've got three different aqua painters here. And you may not have three aqua painters, and that's okay. You can clean these without any issue in between. The one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add, to add quite a bit of water to the um, reinkers. Now, if you don't have reinkers, you guys know that you can take your ink pad, open it up a little bit, squeeze it, and you'll get some color pooled in here, and then you're just gonna drip water into it just like I am here with the dishes. So you don't have to buy reinkers, like go out and specially buy reinkers to be able to do this. But you do wanna make sure that you use more water if you are using the reinkers, of course, because your color is much more concentrated. And I'm just going to add the water to all three of my colors here so that they're ready to roll. Oh, great, and this, this aqua painter is empty. Hang on, technical difficulty. <laughs> Figures, right? I'm just gonna steal some water out of this aqua painter. And you'll notice that I'm using the big end aqua painter for this technique. When you order aqua painters, which is my favorite way to color, you get a big bristled end and you get a smaller one. And this is one of those techniques for the bigger one. Okay, here we go. The other item you get to use is just a plain old straw. This is not rocket science. Okay, it doesn't really matter which color you start with, but I'm going to start with my Bermuda Bay and I'm getting this inked up really good so there's lots of juice in it and I'm going to put this on my card and now I'm going to blow in my straw onto it. Is that cool or what? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. There we go. That's as much Bermuda Bay as I want. Let's go with the next color here. Whoops. Remember where my tools need to be. All right, here we go. And you can put as much as you want on or as little as you want. Isn't that cool? I love it, love it, love it. Okay, and here comes our lemon lime. This works really good holding it close to your paper. There we go. There is our ink blowing technique. You can see right here how I got that. And now I'm going to bring back in 
This card that I showed you on Tuesday, remember this one? That's how I did the background inside there and on the front with the ink blowing. So of course, every time they're gonna be just a little bit different. Here's my birthday card. I also used the um, Tree Builder Punch for this tiny little flower with the rhinestone in it, the stitched shapes framelits for this um, circle. Again, I'm still using the Balloon Adventures stamp set that I told you about Wednesday, May 31st is the last day to get this bundle. So um, that's what I've got here and on the inside of my card. That's also what I have right here on the front of my card. So there we go. All right, ink blowing cool new technique. I was super excited. Oh, and by the way, I have to tell you, I got this idea from Michelle Jutresa, and she's one of our demonstrators in Australia. I just happened to run across um, this technique on, I don't even know where I was, Pinterest probably, and I'm like, hey, what's that? I had to go check it out. So all you need is a straw, some aqua painters, or an aqua painter. These will clean off and you can change colors and um, some re-inkers or the lid of your ink pad to do this. I hope you learned something new today. I love techniques. Again, this is going to be my technique for my VIP online club for the month of May. So um, I will leave a link underneath this YouTube video for you to check out my VIP online club. As long as you live in the United States, any place you can belong to this club, I'm going to be sending a card made with this technique plus an instruction sheet with the technique on it. So after you've been in the club for so many months, you're gonna have a whole book of techniques with the technique actually on it. So you don't have to just read and go, oh, I don't remember what that was. It's pretty cool. Make sure you click down here in the um, corner to subscribe to my blog. And also, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com. I would be happy to send you our new catalog that goes live. Um, on Thursday. So that's exciting. And make sure you check out my blog, www.astampabove.com. You guys have a fabulous day.